What's going on guys? This is one of the most unusual, probably will be one of my favorite tours of all time. I am doing a tour with these lovely ladies behind me. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's Luna. <laughs> Luna, and, and I'm gonna say this name probably incorrectly, Chasta. Ka Kasta, Kasta, Ka Chasta, Ch Chaska, Chaska. Chaska is this one right here. Oh my goodness. A couple alpacas doing a good thing. Well, actually, the real tour is with these guys right here behind me. And I got, <laughs> I got Jake and I got Chris. And these guys are really what I'm trying to show here. To travel the country in the van that's in front with these two beautiful alpacas. Full West Coast tour. We're gonna get into it right now. Here we go. So before this tour even gets started, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. I'm gonna keep on plugging it until you guys all try it out. So a quick word about Skillshare coming up right now. So happy to be working with Skillshare yet again. It is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Why haven't people done more of this? I don't understand. There are so many class topics from illustration, fine art, film and video, marketing, productivity, web development, different classes, options, ideas that you can get into with Skillshare. Guys, check out my new website. Do you think I learned how to do all that my own? No, I didn't. Skillshare helped me out with that. I worked on some new logo designs, graphic design. Skillshare helped me with that. There are so many things that Skillshare helped me to do. Click the link below and you get a two months free a premium membership you click on that link you get the two months for free you take some classes and you'll learn a lot best thing is after the two months you can get your membership for less than ten dollars a month with an annual subscription what are you waiting for sign up for skillshare i use it and i know you will use it so guys i am here in the middle of oregon uh we got christian here with us again what's up buddy you guys have been traveling the country in, in your van. Yeah. Taking this thing out. What do we got going on? I started this clothing company in Peru, lived there for three years, all alpaca, um, to employ these women down in Peru that are the most amazing people. We just launched a fully 100% earth friendly fabric that I'm wearing out of alpaca, Jake's sweater. Each woman signs the, the sweater that they make. You can it's see. It's super soft, it's super light, super durable. We decided for people to start thinking about where their clothing comes from. Ours comes from alpaca, so we put these two on the road. <laughs> and we're going all the way from Seattle down to San Diego. Uh, is it is it alpaca wool? Am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah fiber. Okay. It's all yeah. alpaca fiber, and you can so, check it out at okay. alpacaapparel.com, right there. Cool, I like that. The company's yeah. called, called Paca. The company's called Paca, which is also your Instagram handle. Exactly, just at Paca. Uh, just at Paca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see the rig, and I cannot believe you guys are doing this, and honestly, randomly ran into you guys at a coffee shop. This yeah, was super, so super random. Lee, I just started caressing uh, Jake's <laughs> sweater, because uh, it was so soft. Jake is a tour manager normally for like artists, musicians, Vince, and yeah. uh, shutting everything down, I'm like, why not yeah. just put two alpacas Chris on the road? Me. He was like, yeah, I'm thinking about doing this tour, and I was like, tell me more. So tour, two dudes, two here. alpacas. Two dudes, two alpacas. We have a puppy with us as well. We got Leo. Oh, that's right. The dog's not with us right now, but he's... We got him on the streets. In streets of Peru. Peru. Yeah. He's also a Peruvian mascot, or representative. And Chris, you spent time down in Peru. Three years. Three years, yeah. and that's what kind of, I guess, started this whole thing Dude, for you? This entire thing. I just like got this sweater from a grandma first time going through. Every time I wore it back in the U.S., people always came up like you did, and they're just like touching it, and they're yeah. like, what is that? Yeah. And so I flew back on a one-way, didn't know anyone, and started building this team up. And we launched a Kickstarter, which went viral, and I had to drop out of school. And, and you're also paying these women in Peru. Yeah, 8xing their salary. 8x salary. And they, uh, so we're Good for you. just B Corp certified, which is an awesome step into that certification of, it's called a benefit corporation. Okay. And what that means is like, they do all this certifica certification of what you're doing. And we scored the highest that this analyst has ever approved for a company. Wow. Like social good and stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, they're my family. I live with them, like literally at their place down there. Wow. We go down and I so know all their kids. So we're empowering them to, to do what they love, which is traditional 
traditional weaving and traditional taking traditional patterns and fabrics and putting it all together. And then we're able to, you know, send their girls to school and get their kids in the hospital if they need it. Yeah, and Jake, you were telling me something is uh, on every piece. There's always like an unusual, like, yeah, well, like a you, stitch. Out. Yeah, yeah. Nice and close here. Yeah. This was made by Ivana. Yeah. H, so they sign each each sweater that they make. That's awesome. Yeah. And is there like I know you have patterns as well dude, on let me some. Show you the new Please, dude. I know, I know this is like a Van Tour, guys, but I'm sorry. I'm so infatuated <laughs> so with good new, people and good brands. This is the new fabric, and we always include a hand-woven Inca bracelet because is that what that is? Okay. down there. This is what your iPhone slips into. Oh, beautiful. This is one of the women's joggers designs. We just launched it with this environmentalist, Big Film. This is another one of the sweaters. Oh, I like that gray. The alpacas around the, the, the left <laughs> collar there. <laughs> <laughs> the alpacas this one has uh, ravens, or yeah, yeah. Outside, condors. Condors, yeah, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. So, uh, all right, so now show me yeah. what you guys are living out of, I guess, <laughs> traveling around. Dude, so incredible. Um, this is for 2018 Transit, um, has been so oh, good to man. us. Yeah. Let us show you kind of inside the rig and yeah. how, we, how we make this. While work. I walk in, did you guys do the conversion yourself? How did this so, all happen? My buddy who just moved from Salt Lake City down to San Diego, I live in San Diego. Yep. This is his. We decided to renovate it, and then he took my apartment in San Diego, <laughs> and I convinced him to let me take this <laughs> oh on my. the road. So we put some renovations into it. It's a fully functional, electricity, shower, running, running water. water. We got this rollout fridge, which does great for just keeping cold ones in there. Yeah, hop in. So yeah, I'm gonna hop on in. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, so bud. The first thing you'll see here is uh, this is a converted sort of bed that is also two couches. So you get two couches and then this floor piece lifts up. Oh right yeah, look at that. It takes two people to make it work, but then it rests right across and then these the pillows, just come pillows right down. are the perfect length to lay lay all the way across. So this whole thing turns into a bed. Um, plenty of room for two of us and a puppy. You got these things on my side wall yeah. here. Uh, I'm assuming that's a San Diego thing. Yes, sir. <laughs> we took this down to Baja before we went on tour and uh, tested out the w the waves in there. The waves, yeah. yeah. Are you guys both surfers or just just one? Yeah, that's how we met. That? Yeah, we oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. You did tell me that. Where do you guys keep all your stuff, dude? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> you got to take care of alpacas. Yeah. You got. Where do you keep all that stuff? So <laughs> storage, storage <laughs> idea, yeah. We've got a good amount of storage just underneath here. As you can tell, it doesn't. This platform doesn't go all the way to the ground. Correct. So you have a good amount of storage running all the way to the back there. Nice. And then underneath, or in each of these, you've got plenty of storage as well. Oh, beautiful. So you're able to keep. Uh, oh, look at all bags those goods. So and all pianos down and there. our guitars and ukuleles and mandolins. Those are all down there. I get this um, question quite often. Yeah. Where uh, people always ask, like, how much is it to convert these? Do you, if you guys are okay with sharing pricing, sure. you're more than happy to share it. If you're not okay, give us a ballpark. <laughs> it's it <laughs> definitely makeshift, functional. The high highest cost is obviously just investing in a nice vehicle. Yeah, right? like the yeah. foundation. Yeah. We're much more functional in terms of building things that work you know like we have uh renogy inverter for charging mm -hmm. stations but we're not doing crazy aesthetic builds i think it often gets a bad rap for camper vans where you have to have a ridiculous budget right to do something like that but this the, was pretty strapped the reality is yeah you don't you you can do it yeah you can yeah. do it Just a couple grand with, with youtube yeah. videos instruction and that's and really... where this one was built uh, our buddy nev who, who built it out was totally just didn't know the first thing about it and slowly started putting piecing it together and investing and nev is the one guy down in san diego yes yeah, yeah. okay yeah, shout yeah, out to him cool yeah. cool shout out to austin nebs yeah he moved down from salt lake and he's going to law school now oh wow yeah. that's that's a good life right there so but let's show you some of the features we please here. please this is um this is our water pump this is the power switch to activate the water there you so go. you can hear it run. Boom. Yeah, super um, easy. We've got it around here. We've got this here, yeah, energy inverter. Oh, wow. So you just turn this on, and then you can charge out of it. It charges up, obviously, You've from the USB main. as well as regular outlets here. I love uh, it. And then you can read how much energy you're, you're using up. It, it shows you 100% like the amperes and what you're draining on it. What so. do you guys got for solar on the roof? Like, do you know how many no watts? Solar. You have no solar. You have no solar. Not yet. Not yet. So like, you guys there. charge being directly. Fully climate. Off the alternator. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's awesome because you're driving so much with the alpacas. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, so it's good yeah. for road tripping vehicle. You couldn't really like park this and live out of it and for camp. too long without driving. Cool. And you can do it one, for you know a couple nights at a time. I like but here, that. Also, I'll show you on the other side here. So this is this side's storage, and then get rid of our alpaca blankets. <laughs> Are those um, all alpaca this is, blankets? This is alpaca. Check this out. This, this is handmade, handmade in Peru by the Weaver Weavers. This takes three months to make. 
Oh my God. And this thing they goes for, you know, like a thousand. Yeah. Crazy Holy dollars. Christmas, but it's yeah. so nice. There's a price tag on it. I think there's a price tag on it. But here, yeah, let me show you this you story. So you have you have more game. money in apparel than you do into the bill. <laughs> no, truly, truly. Yeah, that's true. So under here, you got all the... Uh, oh, the yeah. So gray this water. is our water tank. Oh, yeah. That's the gray water tank. Propane for um, hot shower. This is 32. That's five gallons. Yeah, propane for the hot shower. That's the shower head. Um, it's magnetic. So when you open up the back, we just shower between here and the trailer. Just Walmart parking lots for days. <laughs> <laughs> Um, do you have, now, oddly enough, you have to bathe, you know, us as humans. Yeah. Do you have to bathe the alpacas? They... I'm so infatuated with the alpacas, I'm sorry. <laughs> Valid question. Uh, when they get wet, it takes so long to dry them. We were hanging out in, in Seattle for a little bit, and it rained a few times, and it took days for them to get dry. Really? But when they're dry, they're super fluffy and super cute, you yeah, know, and are. that's the way we want to present them when we're meeting folks and doing alpaca events and all that. Oddly, I think on the drive over here, uh, we talked about what this is insulated with, which I kind of, it's kind right, of, like, uh, ironic. Uh, yeah. With wool. With wool. Well, yeah, we're about to start. We're about. We're on the side. Me and you are going to figure out a way to create insulation with alpaca. Alpaca wool. Yeah. Why alpaca? Yeah. Why not? Well, actually, um, I, I get a lot of. I, I actually did a tour of the Havelock Wool Company when they they shear all their sheep over in New Zealand yeah. and they ship it over, yeah. which is similar to how you guys. How, how your company does it. Everything start to finish in Peru. In Peru. Yeah. And you, uh, is it is it okay to shear an alpaca? And how often do they do it? Because I yeah. found that really interesting. Dude, so we uh, we work, so alpacas free roam in the Andes. They're from there. Okay. And so there are millions of them in just Peru. Yeah. And they're showing once a year. And they're so sustainable. Like, they produce so much fiber, so much wool, that one shearing can produce enough for four sweaters. That's crazy. One, yeah, and as opposed to you have to shear four goats to produce one cashmere sweater. Wow. So it's way more sustainable. Think about just, like, all of the, the fabric that you could you could be using for stuff like this and the yeah. fun, I mean yeah. people live down there with them or for sleeping bags or for like like the room for insulation with alpacas definitely needs to be innovative yeah they're pretty warm yeah. back there because I can tell you that hollow fiber with these medulated air pockets and so it's three times lighter than sheep's wool right so okay. this is, this is, this is thing, a really thin sweater like look at it you can kind of see through it like yeah. it's very thin but I'm so warm yeah I bet you like, this is just as warm as as a wool and by the way guys it's about mid 40s where we are right yeah, now I'm it's pretty out. chilly yeah, no, it's yeah. we're chilling yeah we are chilling <laughs> literally <laughs> With a couple other amenities, just oh, these look at lights. The, you guys got the lights? Look at you. Dude, you there go. it is. There's There's dimmer action. Boom, boom, boom. Like Love that. that. Um, that back night. here is more storage stuff. This is open, so you've got more storage under here. Cool. Um, we'll build out. Uh, yeah, we keep our food down guys, here. Love it how simple you. Tons are. of food. Tons of food. Wow, that was a lot, man. Yeah, I don't man, know how you guys are out. surviving. <laughs> <laughs> no, tons, of, tons of room. <laughs> we have to go grocery shopping. Um, and then these are drawers just down the side. Here. Nice. Yeah. Who did the artwork on the side for you? Dude, so Neb's brother. He's an amazing artist. Do you know this yeah. guy down in California? <laughs> Austin Nebs? I Austin wish I would have known him. Okay. Dude, he's yeah, a great guy. So, he's a great guy. Yeah, we're really excited about how this is built. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, it was just, just it's, it's, I was about to say, it's simple. So simple. You don't need a lot to get a lot. Exactly. And you guys are... And that, that somehow is just in line with, with our mission. You know, we, you don't need a lot for it to be... Uh, exactly what you need. You know exactly. I mean? like, no frills. This is the only sweater I need. You know that, and you know, and they're literally just out here trying to bring awareness to what what you guys are trying to do, and I love it. Yeah, man. That's why I needed to tour you guys. Uh, this is a 2018. You said I think, right? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a mid roof. Yep. So my man Jake's a little bit taller than me, so you can't stand in there, but I can stand yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. Got the boots. You're about 5'10", 6 we foot. If you're in the back, we got the pack of magnet on the side. So yeah, it's a full, check full it out. Checked out, all white. Um, uh, oh wow, I didn't see this side. No, I saw the other side. These cut out magnets. <laughs> These are awesome because we can take them off and then uh, put them anywhere else Dude, on the van. So oh, wide. that's so cool. So if you ever just want to. Temporarily pimp out a van with some decal. We I mean, <laughs> you your do you have some decals? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We saw your guys' living quarters. I kind of want to see your roommate's living quarters. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go see what's up in Shasta. You guys treat these two as family. Like these They're two are. Yeah, these are our, these are our daughters. Our Straight sisters. up, Ken. So, um, this is their living quarters. This is just a little uh, two-horse trailer. It's okay. Easy. It's got one axle, so we've got three axles on board. Um, this swings open, and then you've got these awesome chains that keep them inside, so you can open this up and just 
talk to people Good like girls. this, and they won't jump out. Um, and then they just unhook here. They're so well behaved. They're so well behaved. This is actually, so the axle, um, I'll show you guys this. The axle runs above the ground level here. So Should when we, we first bought it, it just had one of these uh, horse mats, and it, there was a huge bump <laughs> on the bottom. Yeah. Um, because the axle runs over the floor. So we uh, custom made this floor and just raised platform. it up a couple of yeah. years. Oh, wow. We screwed it into the bottom and then... We, um, we camped out at Lowe's and parking did lot. Did you really? Dude, yeah. Did in the parking lot. I mean, that's real DIY living Straight right there. Up, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Been there, done that. And then we put two shock rubber mats down to absorb, to absorb that, like, all yeah. of the, the stress from the road, right? Yeah. And then this, the, we're, we're just in the process of cleaning it out, but they normally have a whole bed of straw that they lie on and um, super comfy. And then we have a pen that they live out of. So this is just for like travel. This is for but. travel. And then we've got this this uh, piece of wood that it goes across. Just cuts across here just for tra uh, highway travel. Highway so travel, keep, yeah. Keep them totally locked in there. Yeah, but they're then, absolute sweethearts. Yeah, if you look up top here, you'll see this is our portable fencing that yeah. we strapped to the roof. So, so you guys make a pen for them? If we, yeah, if we hang out, at a, we usually try to stay in places for a couple days at a time. Yeah. Uh, just for the sake of the animals, we don't want to move them every single day, like sure. hours on the road. We'll hang out at a farm or something, and then this pen uh, I, I built to, to be kind of like an accordion. So you nice. take it off, and it just unfolds kind of like an accordion, and we'll attach it in a big circle around the trailer. So we can drop the trailer in a field, put the big pen around, and yep. it's just kind of like a big circle. So that they, and then we leave it open, so that they have a place to hang out inside, in the shelter, and they can graze whenever they like. So, it's it's kind of like the best of both worlds for them when we set it all up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, good. These are babies so, too. They're just they're a yeah, year old. So. Just one year old. They're yeah. just just over a year old. Yearlings. If anybody doesn't know anything about alpacas, they're like the sweetest animals. Out. The sweetest it's why animals. The that's why <laughs> that's people why, why I don't think you're complaining, dude. dude they, I think they, they think we're imposters because they see us wearing all alpaca head to toe, but they're like, we know. Seriously, we walk through a parking lot with these guys, and uh, you guys have a crowd uh, around you uh, in, like within seconds. That's why we actually have to go behind the scenes. They are celebrities. Um, well, guys, uh, you know, before we finish this up, you know, uh, again, just just let everybody know like, kind of like what you guys are doing and and really what your whole mission here is, and and uh, it's super it's super important to me, and and that's why I wanted to kind of put you guys on video and and, and tour your tour your your simple rig, which I don't I don't care how simple it is, you're doing something good. The intention of this tour is not to sell clothing. Great, thank you. It's to inspire people to start thinking about where their things come from. Wow. And I don't care if it's food or clothing. No, it's not like you guys are selling a brand, you're selling a message. Exactly. Yeah. We're not carrying any merchandise in the room. You know? You're not. You're not. We're not carrying boxes. We'd have to have another trailer. <laughs> <laughs> you won't, you would have to. This is, that's yeah. what you guys' message is all about. It, it's truly just about trying to spread some alpaca love and positive energy and get people to start thinking about where they're stuck. Christian, I think you can get on board with that. What do you think? I'm, you're, I'm inspired. You're a little chilly over there. I can I tell. You need an alpaca sweater, right? You need an alpaca synthetic. Yeah. Oh, dang it. You're just <laughs> wearing oil. This is oil. Yeah. It's not keeping you warm. <laughs> Cut it down. It's on Instagram at Paca, just P-A-K-A. -A. Yep. And then Paca Apparel. Right there. Yeah, right, there. right there. Right down the cool. side. This is the logo. We only need a couple of those, but... And then if anybody's interested in, in your clothing, even though you're not trying to sell it, it's just PacaApparel.com? Yeah. Okay, or cool. Or just come meet us. Yeah, right. yeah where are you headed to now? I mean, we're up in Oregon, Oregon, but where are you going to now? Yeah, if you go on the website, we've got an entire Perfect. tour section of the website. Do you, you really? See, yeah, you can see where yeah, we're where going. We went. And when is this okay. tour ending? Is this ongoing? It might be. It might be. <laughs> it's been received so well. Part of the rig. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Thank you for thank showing you. me your rig. Let me thank you. Obviously, letting me pet your alpacas. <laughs> of course. Um, they get are amazing. There. Let me hold this. Oh man, get up, you can get, get him some pellets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little scared of the pellets. How do I do this? Just take a handful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here, we'll. we'll... <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Boom. Moon is all into it. That is the regret. Make sure you love it. Make sure you get some sorry. chance to get to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. oh my, I can feel the little teeth. That's I can feel the little teeth. I kind of want to just like cuddle up. Right. Is that, just sweater. getting out back a sweater. We're um, trying to, yeah, first thing about how comfortable they can be with humans. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Good girls. Yeah. They're so curious too. We cooked dinner with them last night. They were eating the hint of lime chips. Oh, really? <laughs> I gotta like, I, we should do a ghost collaborate. What was that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's thank you, rad. Guys. Thank oh, you. these guys are so awesome.
Thank you guys so much. Christian, you can be there. It's okay, buddy. I'm trying to steal their spotlight, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christian's part of the family, too, man. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you guys later.